Hello everyone, my name is Randhir Singh and I welcome you all to the YouTube channel of Study IQ IS English. In today's video, we are going to discuss about a very important topic. Yes, it is on Gangotri Glacier, which is the source of River Ganga, the most sacred, the holiest, the largest as well as longest river of India. Now, this study has been done by IIT Indore. In this study, they highlighted many concerns. The concern is related to reduction in snow melt. What? Snow melt flow. Now, what is the title and was this study done only by IIT Indore? No. IIT Indore has collaborated with many international organizations and universities. One among them, which is the most important is ICI MOD. That is the International Center for Integrated Mountain Development. So, the title of this report was the hydrological contribution of snow and glacier melt from the Gangotri glacier system. Now, many of you may get confused that what is the difference between glacier melt and snow melt? Both are same? No, my dear friends, you are wrong. There is, you know, a very strong difference between snow and your glacier melt. First of all, let us understand that snow melt means the melting of fresh snow, which Gangotri glacier receives every year during winter season. And the melting of what glacier means, what the melting of old snow, which have piled up, you know, from hundreds of years. So, fresh snow contributes, you know, seasonally, but glacier melt, it contributes annually. But we have to understand that snow melt contribution is maximum during spring and early summers. But here, you know, the researchers, they also focus that between 1980s and 2020, due to climate change, there is alteration in this contribution, in this hydrological contribution. So, what was their focus on this study? First, they analyzed, they measured that what are the sources of water for River Ganga. See, snow melt and glacier melt is the major source, but apart from it, monsoonal rainfall it also plays very important role it also contributes almost 11 percent flow in river ganga and the small but very important source is what groundwater also but see here the major source means 64 percent of water in river ganga comes from the melting of fresh snow melting of fresh snow and 21 percent water it comes from the melting of old snow. Old snow. And they also, you know, studied that climate change, you know, drastically altered its contribution. How? They revealed that the snow melt contribution is declining. In 1980s, the snow melt share was 73%. Can you even imagine? It was 73%. Now it declined and in 20, 2010, means after 2010, the share was only 63% from snowmen. It means there is no fresh snow present on Gangotri Glacier. Let us take an example of winters of 2023 and 2024. Due to El Nino, what we saw, we witnessed that the Himalayan belt, especially the western Himalayan belt, which includes Kashmir Himalayas, which includes your Doladhar range, which includes your Kumau Himalayas, they received less snowfall. Why they received less snowfall? They received less snowfall because mean annual temperature is rising. It is continuously rising. Due to which there is less fresh snow cover in Himalayan belt. Due to change in what? A a average temperature of globe, we also witness that western disturbances, they are becoming weak. Now, what are western disturbances? Western disturbances, they originate from what your, their low depression which originates over Mediterranean Sea. And you know, these western disturbances, they are brought to India. They arrive in India. And who bring these western disturbances in India? It is subtropical westerly jet stream. But now, Subtropical western jet stream is weakening, and the reason behind the weakening of subtropical western jet stream is Arctic amplification. If you know that whole globe is warming, but 
the warming rate of Arctic region is four to five times higher than the whole globe. What is the reason? The reason is albedo is decreasing. What is the albedo reflection? As we all know that the North Pole and South Pole, the Arctic region and Antarctic region has maximum snow cover. Snow cover means white. Snow cover means shiny surface. Shiny surface, you know, reflect maximum insulation. They reflect almost 70 to 95 percent insulation. They only absorb, you know, 30 to 10 percent insulation. This is the reason this area remains one of the reasons. This, these belts remain very cold. But now, due to anthropogenic factors, due to, you know, increase in the concentration of greenhouse gases, how these greenhouse gases are increasing in our atmosphere, we are responsible anthropogenic factor. Due to many economic activities, due to burning of fossil fuels, right, to serve our needs, to serve our, what, your goals, this snow is depleting rapidly. And due to melting of snow, the dark surfaces of Arctic region has been exposed. And due to the exposure of dark surface, the albedo is declining. Now they are, they are reflecting almost 50 to 70 percent. What insulation means they are absorbing more heat. And due to absorption of more heat, the ice is melting rapidly. Due to this, there is shift in what your pressure belt there is shift in what your rainfall pattern rainfall pattern now winters are receiving less snowfall and the reason behind it is arctic amplification weakening of what your jet streams between 2000 to 2010 the snow melt dropped sharply to 52 percent just imagine now there is another impact due to it there is you know social impact your uh, economic impact on what your people because you know the Ganga region right the Ganga basin or the Ganga plain where UP Bihar and West Bengal lies you you can see the largest and the you know densest population thrive in Ganga belt and majority of them are what your farmers the major economic activity which is done in UP, Bihar and West Bengal, that is what your farming, agriculture, they are farmers and majority of the farmers, they are dependent on the water, the irrigation and that irrigation, you know, is basically supported by the water of river Ganga. 40% of India's population is living in Ganga Basin, just imagine. If during winter season, there will be no fresh snow, Ultimately, you will see decline in the flow of river Ganga, which will ultimately hurt our what your livelihood are of our farmers. This is happening. Now, what we are saying that during monsoon season, June, July, the you know water capacity was maximum in Ganga River. But now the Ganga River is flooding earlier. Means the water volume is increased the peak discharge has been done during early summers which was once done during what what which was once seen during july august this will directly impact you know our what agriculture apart from agriculture sector it has impact on what our electricity production also just see and you will get to know that how many you know dams or hydropower projects are built on river Ganga, on river Bhagirathi in Uttarakhand and they are you know serving and they are giving electricity to majority of the states in India. If there will be less water during summer season and tell me the electricity demand is maximum during summers. When demand is highest but, but the river flow is declining, it will disrupt the power generation in Himalayan states. And we are dependent for drinking water. We are, from where we are getting drinking water? It is River Ganga. So this is the impact of, of what your declining of snow melt, fresh snow. Only 10% decline in snow melt can affect million what your lives in India. So this was the, you know, highlighter of this report. 
Now, as this is a news, UPSC can ask you questions related to Gangotri Glacier. You should know where Gangotri Glacier lies, from where Gangotri Glacier receives, you know, your what, your uh, uh, ice or you can say that fresh snow. First of all, let us understand the location. It is located in Uttarakashi district of Uttarakhand and it is located at an altitude of 4000 meter. It is 30 kilometer long and 4 kilometer wide and it is part of Kumau Himalayas. Do remember it. Where it is found? It is found on a range called Chokhamba range and in the northern slope of Chokhamba range, this glacier lies. The feeding peaks is Shivling, Thalai Sagar, Miru and Bhagirathi third. From here, Gangotri Glacier receives what your eyes. The terminal point of the end point, terminal means the end point of Gangotri Glacier is what in the shape of cow's mouth. That is why we call it what Gaumuk. That is why we call it Gaumuk. From here, Bhagirathi River originates. What? Bhagirathi River originates from Gaumuk. And Bhagirathi meets Alaknanda at Dev Priyaki Uttarakhand. And from Dev Priyat, it is named as what River Ganga. I hope you enjoyed this article. I hope you got to know that what is the reason behind decline in snowmelt. Now, my dear friends, this is a last offer for you for this course. We are going to close admission for this course on 3rd September 2025 means tomorrow. Don't miss this course because we are providing huge discount and we are making this course very affordable for you guys and those students who are going to appear or who are thinking to appear in UPSC in 2027-2028 they can purchase this course batches are available in Hindi, English, pure English and English also both Hindi and English language in this course you have the opportunity to join our offline classes through this course you can join our offline classes that too free of cost you have to pay nothing. What you have to do? That is, you have to understand our feature which is mentioned in this course that is PRP, Prelims Residential Program. If you score a very good marks in our weekly and monthly test, the top performers will be called by Study IQ, right? In Karol Bar Offline Center, your residence will be free, your food will be free. The only thing which you have to do to study and if you will clear pre, your full fee will be refunded, full fee, 1000 plus hours live classes will be provided to you, right, you will be given one mentor, one mentor will be assigned to each student so that your doubts get cleared easily without any hurdle, 18 plus books will be delivered at your home. If you will clear prelims, then again you are eligible to join our free of cost mains offline classes, which is called as mains registration program. So what are you waiting for to get this course at a discounted price? What you have to do? You have to go to our website study IQIS. In study IQIS, please scroll down and view all courses. When you will click on view all courses, here is the course, right? Now this is the amount of what course but if you will if you will apply my coupon code if you will apply my coupon code that is rdx live right this course will come down to 2999 don't miss this opportunity see you in this course till then please take care do share like and comment on this video thank you so much jai hind jai bharat